yes, we are back with Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. I go by the name of Barry Moses or It's Barry Moore on every social media platform. So White54 channel is our handle on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Be sure to leave the hashtags Why in the Morning and Entrepreneurship Tuesdays if you'd like to interact with us. So my first guest of the day goes by the name uh, Gashiri Waweru. And Gashiri Waweru is a software engineer and founder of Ndunyu Online, a Kenyan e-commerce platform that offers business space and marketing support to prosper online. Karibu sana, Mr. Gashiri Waweru. Nice to meet you, man. All right, your camera is number four. Uh, if uh, you need to address the people, just look at them uh, straight okay. into the eyes. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you'll be talking to me. But for now, I'd like you to talk to me. And uh, you've had an experience of 10 years. Yeah, sure. In this. Yeah. That's a science thing. All yeah. right. And you feel like you know the secret businesses to prosper online yeah sure wonderful you'll be telling us more about this but before that i'd like to know uh when was the first time you ever interacted with a computer uh, so my first interaction with a computer was in 2007 mm -hmm. i joined high school uh -huh. and then this I was alliance boys high school yes uh how many marks did you score in primary school in primary school 432 432 yes uh, did you study in nairobi uh no well uh back in kerugoya and that's in kirinyaga uh, that is in Kirinyaga County. Yes. Uh, Kokina Waiguru. Waiguru, yes. Kirinyaga County represented on Y in the morning, be sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, 432, studying in Kirinyaga. Then you went to Alliance Boys High School. Yeah. How was it like getting to a national school with all these people who scored 430 something months? Uh, so, getting to a national school for <laughs> me, like, uh, it's something that I, I didn't know I would make it. Uh -huh. But then I, when I got there, it was actually an eye-opener for me. Mm -hmm. so, yes, so the whole experience, mm -hmm. uh, yes, was an eye-opener. You thought you were a smart guy until you got there. Yeah. <laughs> your eyes got open. Yeah, sure. All right, so this is where you interact with your first computer. You are in Form 1, yeah. you interact with the computer. What did you think about this device? So for me, I was fascinated. Uh -huh. It was the first time I was actually using a computer. Mm -hmm. I actually had never even used a phone. Uh -huh. So when I got in there, I was excited to see what this just box could do. Uh -huh. Then it was those computers, the CRT ones. Uh -huh. I was fascinated. With a very big back. Yes, with mm -hmm. a big, big back. Uh -huh. And I could see all this, what this box could do. Uh -huh. And I was fascinated. Uh -huh. And then I spent most of my time in the, in the computer lab. You lab. spent most of your time in the computer. You yes. never got in trouble for this? Uh, no, no, no. Actually, there was provision for if you wanted to do it. Uh -huh. Uh, you could actually uh, all these break break times last uh -huh. time maybe most of my time was spent there when I learned uh, like yes so I got fascinated and uh, I wanted to from that it. day you've fallen in love with a computer yeah, sure. and now you're making your money off a computer as well yeah. so uh, you get done with the Lance uh, Boys High School yeah. you go to Jquat right yes you study computer science yeah. all right uh, how was it like getting to first year uh, was it what you expected because when you were in high school you really learn the basics of computing for four years yeah. Right? Yeah. They, it's the basics of computing, uh, if you ask me. And when you get to campus, uh, you, for me, I got shocked uh, when I got to interact with the type of physics I interacted with okay. uh, in campus. Uh, how was it for you? So for me, just be before I went to, to campus, mm -hmm. I went to a college called Digital Age Institute. Mm -hmm. um, what for soft as a for a higher diploma in software engineering? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get to finish the course because it was the introduction of um, the double intake. Uh -huh. First, we were the first class of the double oh, intake, okay, so I didn't okay. finish that is my twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. Uh -huh. So I didn't finish my software engineering uh, classes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But when I got there, I had some ideas of what to expect. Uh -huh. but when you even, got to first year, yes, when uh -huh. I got to first year. Uh -huh. But even then, I was shocked because of the things we went to do now. Because us, it was not a practice; mm -hmm. it was a science. So we went actually into the in-depth of the of computer science. Of computer science. Yes. All right. We're living in the information age. Everything is online. Yeah. Uh, there's Code Academy online. Yeah. You can learn to code from home. Uh, wh wh where, which is your biggest source of knowledge? Is it now? Is it campus or is it the internet? Things you've taught yourself. It has to be the internet. It has to be yes, the internet. Yes, it's the internet. Uh -huh. Yes. So you've learned a lot from the internet. From the internet, yes. All right. Yeah. Maybe you can break down for us. Uh, what is data science? So for data science, it's making a, first you have to get the data. Mm -hmm. 
and then you have to make sense. It's making sense of data. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we are talking of a huge amount of data mm -hmm. and trying to get some insights from mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, so maybe if I, could, I could better use an example. Mm -hmm. So if you have maybe people who come to shop mm -hmm. uh, online, mm -hmm. then you can find a group. There's, there's a certain group of people who, shops, uh, who shop uh, specific items. Mm -hmm. So when a certain demographic comes in, they, they tend to maybe sh even the way they click mm -hmm. is using it's you can you can say this guy belong to this group uh -huh. maybe age oh, maybe right. even they are so the know. moment i get into say your site your site is called uh doing your online uh, doing your online yes all right so i get to your site and i'm like i want to do some shopping yes the first click you make i make yes can tell you the type of person i am yes uh, yes we are being spied on man <laughs> we are being spied on. <laughs> no, it's not actually spying uh -huh. we are using this information to your advantage uh -huh. sometimes we save people a lot of time uh -huh. you are looking for something uh -huh. and for, uh, you are looking for something and you also want another item uh -huh. so it's likely that when you click that item mm -hmm. we also know you you need another item All right because the occurrence of somebody clicking this yes. and then needing the other item after has happened so many times. It has happened so many times. Uh -huh. And then we are likely to know like what you, you want. Uh -huh. We anticipate your needs. And sometimes it helps a lot of people because you, you see people creating a wish list. Mm -hmm. And most likely they, are, they will come back and buy the same. All right. Yes. So this is data science yes. for you. Just getting to understand what data is. So there are three steps to it. Collection of data, yes. analysis of data, and uh, using it now, concluding it. Yes. So you uh -huh. uh, yes. So just exactly as you mentioned, uh -huh. you collect the data. Uh -huh. In between the analysis, we first clean it uh -huh. just to remove noise and uh -huh. things which might be not be So data about. has noise as well. Or this is yes. just a top. <laughs> you used to refer to the necessary data. Yes, to the necessary items you need to get rid of. Uh -huh. Then we come to the analysis. Mm -hmm. But the most important part is not with all these parties actually making a decision. Making a decision. Because you could be you could make your analysis and come up with the wrong conclusion. Uh -huh. But now when you make your analysis, you need a human to come and say, at, at most part you need a human being to come and say, now this is what this means. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's a, the most A robot important. will never do that thing. It can do that because now uh -huh. we have uh, machine learning models, uh -huh. but we have to Artificial teach them. intelligence yes. as well. But they but have to be taught by a human. Yes, we have to teach them. When you see this, you, have to, you, co you can conclude this. So you have to teach them that. All right. Data analysis. This is data analysis in computing. Is there, uh, in, in day to day life, do you see cases of data analysis and some things that we don't even realize? We, are not, we, we have analyzed data and we are using it to our advantage, but we never even realize. Is there a case like that? Uh, in fact, even us, how we think, especially as humans, mm -hmm. All the time we incorporate previous uh, data in all our decision making. Mm -hmm. Even for subconsciously. Even sometimes. subconsciously. Uh -huh. For example, if a kid touches fire. Uh -huh. the <laughs> That's next a very time, good example. Yeah, the next time when the kid sees, sees fire, sees fire uh -huh. they are likely not to touch that it. That has been analyzed. That uh -huh. has, yeah, it's experience. So mm -hmm. for now it's like data is what computers will most likely to use to store their experience. Uh -huh. But as human beings, yes, we have the, the, the same. We have the capacity yes. to analyze data. Yes. We might not have the capacity to store as much yes. as a hard disk or a server, yeah. but we have the uh, ability to analyze data and use it to our advantage. Yeah. Some people might be better at it. Some people might be a little bit uh, low in it, yeah. but we all have the capacity. Yes, we all right. have This the information yeah. right here, this is something you learned in school while studying computer science. Yeah. This has led you to building Ndonyo Online. Yeah. What is Ndonyo Online? So Ndonyo Online is a platform uh, where you can easily get uh, an online shop. Mm -hmm. uh, we market for you mm -hmm. and we also handle all payments mm -hmm. so such that all you need to do is grow your business. Mm -hmm. You are the CEO and founder? Yes. How old are you again? So 26. You're 26? Yeah. Wow. Carry on. Uh -huh. <laughs> this happens in Silicon Valley a lot, yeah. Uh, so, so, so with our businesses, mostly what we are giving users uh -huh. is visibility. Because mm -hmm. if you have goods at home, all you want is to sell. Mm -hmm. And the best place to sell now is online because our physical address might limit you. Mm -hmm. uh, I know getting, for example, space in most of these uh, big malls is expensive. Mm -hmm. And mostly, for example, people of my age... Not Rent many, is expensive. Yes, mm -hmm. not many can afford a stall in one of those uh, malls. Mm -hmm. But what we are giving you is, we are telling you, 
take this space it's mm-hmm. virtual mm-hmm. but you are going to sell mm-hmm. and uh you are going to make more money because we are targeting uh, for example we have an app online uh, kenya mm-hmm. so with online kenya we pull data from all these major shopping uh, sites mm-hmm. junior kilimall and do you mm-hmm. all these places and we put the data there and put and for example it has 10,000 uh, downloads on mm-hmm. the play store mm-hmm. and then millions of people can access now the e-commerce website mm-hmm. so we are saying we're giving you this 10,000 people have downloaded yes, online Kenya on their apps yes on, the, on their phones yes do you have the iOS as well the iOS uh, not yet uh-huh. uh, but we are hoping at some point we'll be able to give uh, that market uh, the, the same All right. Yes. So you have the Android version yes. and so far 10,000 people have downloaded this. Yes. This is massive success to you at 26. 10,000 downloads. Mm-hmm. But this is not the goal. The yeah. vision is bigger and broader. Yes. Mm-hmm. So with now the 10,000 and the hundreds of thousands accessing our site uh, our site. Uh-huh. Now this is the visibility we are giving our customers uh-huh. and we hope uh, we transform the same into value and mm-hmm. have many people buying. All right. Uh, at this day and age when somebody has a startup as an investor myself i'm not an investor but if i were an investor yeah. then you come to me uh, with an idea of an online shop yeah. i'd be like i've heard up to 100,000 ideas of online shops yes. in the world right now in the country there are so many yeah. what is the difference between yours and the ones that are existing so one is uniqueness and mm-hmm. uh, just getting you visible because uh-huh. you know some of these sites are just too big and uh, your items uh-huh. might just uh f- if you're not a big brand for uh-huh. example your item might might just get lost uh in the uh-huh. in the listing of, of it's like a supermarket yes these supermarkets mm-hmm. but when you have shelves uh, some yes, shelves are given to preferred brands to preferred brands uh-huh. yes so even when searching mm-hmm. you get like the items that appears are not yours mm-hmm. and maybe as i mentioned if you want to grow your brand mm-hmm. or the items you're offering are unique uh-huh. you just want you might want a space where it's just you you mm-hmm. control the look of the site mm-hmm. for example when you go to uh, those other places mm-hmm. the, or the the site look the same where the products are listed are the same mm-hmm. they don't give you that place where you can just grow your brand mm-hmm. and stuff like that all right yes. so everybody can come and set up a shop yes yeah so when i set up a shop i'm looking at a day and time uh, when 100,000 people have set up shops yes a screen is only this big yeah we can't have 100,000 shops on one yes. screen right So uh at this day and time yeah. will I be having my own URL yeah. to share with my people you can buy my stuff here yes it's possible yes so we have the two options we have the store uh-huh. and then we have the duka option uh-huh. the duka for example if you are if you are maybe your shop is a uh, creative arts uh-huh. so you can get creativearts.co.ke Mm-hmm. so that's where your home is uh-huh. or you can just go to donyo.co.ke.shop uh-huh. for the store uh-huh. and then you get your 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 url for your merchandise wow wonderful so uh so far people have set up shops yes it's existing yeah all right and if i get on donyo i'll be visible that's a fact yes security uh-huh Yes, you have to talk about security because we are talking about money here. Money, yes. We're talking about transacting, mm-hmm. we're talking about taxes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So for the security one thing is uh, all our sites are uh, assigned. Uh-huh. So when you're accessing, we call it the SSL certificate. Mm-hmm. So when you come in you get a free SSL certificate, mm-hmm. which means even the users will see that it's mm-hmm. verified and all the communication between mm-hmm. a user mm-hmm. and the system and yeah. yes it has been encrypted uh-huh. so that's one of the first layer of security mm-hmm. the other one is money uh-huh. for us we don't store any information that is uh, that that person identify you as far as money is concerned mm-hmm. we use uh, other providers uh, who have been accredited for for transacting for, for, the for cash for transaction mm-hmm. so that i uh, also yeah we can actually rely on their success and we know if this person is uh, accredited mm-hmm. and we know the their systems are secure mm-hmm. and they are also international an international company mm-hmm. now you can get like for us we've made sure the communication between our users mm-hmm. and the systems is secure and mm-hmm. the transaction is also secure all right so you played your part secured what yeah. you need to secure yes uh, if um to mina kichoma picha atakuwa held accountable So our hope is they don't <laughs> they, be, don't they don't mess up so that up, yes. you you restore you build the faith yes. uh, in your customers. Yeah. All right, uh, it's very hard to talk about e-commerce without talking about blockchain technology. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what does blockchain technology mean to you first? So blockchain is uh, 
I'd call it more of a ledger mm-hmm. where you can put transactions mm-hmm. and at, at any point of the transactions you know like uh, there is a uh, it's some sort there is like there's a group of people we mm-hmm. we can all agree that whatever is stored in that ledger uh-huh. is uh is actually true uh-huh. yeah so for me that's my understanding of, of this uh-huh. yes so it's more of a ledger yes and what is stored in this ledger is actually true yes and so if, under blockchain technology is where we have all these coins uh, internet coins you yes. have the bitcoin the, you can help me name a few uh-huh. there's a bitcoin the bitcoin ethereum uh-huh. we have yeah all right uh, all these things yeah what, what what i understand with money eh? yeah every single coin or note yeah. has an equal amount or equal valued gold in the central bank yeah. of that particular country to match it right what regulates these coins on the internet so i would think it's supply and demand uh-huh. yes so if there is a huge, although i can't touch, i can't say they have real value like uh, itself a bitcoin or ethereum itself has a uh-huh. The, like what we attach value like uh-huh. say like gold uh-huh. how it gets the 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 gold value uh-huh. i would say it's through supply and demand uh-huh. because if the demand is high uh-huh. and then the supply it's actually very uh, limited because you actually have to do work you have to mine you have to expend computer resources uh-huh. to gain maybe one what is it, what are these like, computer resources computer resources me? maybe p- power uh-huh. then mostly it's power but also the computing uh maybe the computing uh, knowledge pa- the, the power the computing power uh-huh. it's uh, for example if you have a uh, maybe a not so powerful computer uh-huh. you are not likely to mine a lot so you have to make an investment uh-huh. it's the same way where we mine minerals gold and stuff like that okay. we have to make huge so you investments. guys have brought it the yes. tech guys have brought it to the computer yes you have uh-huh. to make huge investments do you uh-huh. think this currency is going to rule the world sometimes soon Personally, I would not bet on it, uh-huh. and uh, I know it's controversial. Uh-huh. But uh, from what I've seen, maybe it might be an alternative currency, uh-huh. but it might not. Not uh, in the far future, yes. Uh-huh. The future of our currencies will be digi- digital currencies. All right. I'm yeah, sorry to I'm to deviate so much mm-hmm. or to digress, uh, but uh, since we have you here, you can teach us about this blockchain technology mm-hmm. before we get back to Nolio. Uh, so say there's the Bitcoin and the Ethereum. Yes. And I want to come up with another one. Mm-hmm. You're, I'm allowed to come up with another one if I want, right? Yes. What are some of the things I do to beat these guys? What, 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 how does this work? So, so for me, I'll first give a disclaimer. Uh-huh. As far as uh, digital currency is uh, concerned, uh-huh. I'm not that much uh, uh-huh. informed. Uh-huh. Like I have the basic uh, knowledge, knowledge of, uh-huh. the, of mm-hmm. the industry. And this is what I'm looking for, yes. just basic knowledge yes, for the, the industry. Uh-huh. But what I would think is you have to, you just have to convince people uh-huh. like this is the thing they need uh-huh. so that you can create demand supply for the same. and demand yes. like you said is how this works yes you Online. just have to convince thank you very much have you incorporated these ways of buying things uh, in your in your platform uh, not at the moment uh-huh. Yes, because our market, the market we are dealing with is mostly we want to deal with uh, easily accessible currencies, uh-huh. like our easily accessible methods of payment like M-Pesa, uh-huh. like uh, PesaPal, like PayPal. Uh-huh. Those are the methods we have because uh-huh. that's our market. Uh-huh. Yes, so in future. So you need to understand your market first. Yes. There's no need of bringing the, the blockchain uh, to people who don't understand it yet. Yes. So we hope like if people learn to do it, mm-hmm. in case ours will just be incorporating and say these are an alternative currency. Oh, this is an alternative currency. Yes. And while you go, you improve, you increase ways yes. of transacting, you increase the number of shops yes. and whatnot. All right, so Ndonyo uh, is different from other online stores. Yes. You get to open your own stall or own duka yes. on the platform. Yeah. That is the difference between Ndonyo and the rest of them. Yes. I didn't say it out wrong. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. Don't forget to leave the hashtag Y in the morning and entrepreneurship Tuesday. How many people are you so far right now? So far, mm-hmm. the team? Yeah, the team. How big is the team? So the team, we have uh, two founders, uh-huh. and then we have uh, three additional uh, uh-huh. Two founders? Yes. Why do all these tech companies have two founders? Why is it always two founders, two founders, two founders? Uh, it's important so that one can cover your black, uh, like your blind spot. And uh-huh. then, it, yeah, for, so two it's or three, uh-huh. it's a good number. Two or three is yes, a good number. because now you get to bounce your ideas and uh-huh. then 
it's a shared vision uh -huh. and then you start getting uh, employees uh -huh. who share also your vision so you have two founders now yes. what is the name of the other founder we need uh, to send him a shout out uh keith keith, keith, keith washira keith washira shout out to you keith washira yes how old is keith uh keith is uh is 20 or 21 keith is 20 the, or 21 yeah around the, yeah. wow <laughs> <laughs> and you guys already have a physical office in riverside yes that you ran you at the age of 26, Keith at the age of 21. Yes. Co-founders yes. with an office, with employees that you pay salaries. Yep. Wow. Oh, do you have any investors? So investors not at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's a deliberate decision we've made just to first grow our business mm -hmm. and to see what the value of our business is. Mm -hmm. So that's our, our, has been our approach with this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your approach is to, uh, to grow the business first yes. and yes. make it valuable first yes. before you can invite investors. Yes. In the long run, you always have to invite investors yes, when you want plan. to grow the business. Yeah. That's the plan. Where did the capital come from? So the capital was from my saving from uh -huh. my previous uh, uh -huh. uh, 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 employment. Uh -huh. And then also Keith himself has been working as a freelancer uh -huh. for a long time. So he saved some cash he as well. He saved some cash, yes. All right. I hear there's a window of time where startups don't make any money. Yeah. And capital is spent, 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 spent. Yeah. Are you guys prepared for this period? So we've kind of prepared for this, mm -hmm. but we know it's actually just working with the little we have because mm -hmm. as, as long as our business is small we hope our expenditure is not as mm -hmm. as much mm -hmm. so it's just growing uh with the business optimizing the resources mm -hmm. and redirecting them where they are needed mm -hmm. so if there's something we can cut on we make sure that's we all we can afford it's mm -hmm. if it's something is just good to have mm -hmm. we make sure we don't have it uh -huh. but if it's something that is uh something that it's essential mm -hmm. for the success of our customers mm -hmm. that's what we give them so we just make sure like we are, we are, we are running a lean business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, with startups, there's something we call edge, yeah? Uh, edge, edge. Edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this and this person might say, ah, our site has edge because we only deal in household products. Mm -hmm. Our site has edge because we only target this and that. Mm -hmm. What is the edge of your, of Ndonyo Online? Mostly f our edge is creatives. Mm -hmm. Like uh, most the, the people we found um, uh, mostly setting up shops mm -hmm. are guys dealing with arts, mm -hmm. uh, fashion, mm -hmm. uh, people dealing with jewelry. Uh -huh. Yes, so, most so mostly creative. Yes, because uh -huh. they want to stand out, and uh, it's something that we are enabling them to do. All right. Yes. So you're not going for the masses. You're going for people who suit your platform. Is that what I'm getting from you? It's actually not, it wasn't a deliberate... Uh, it just happened. Some things you discover happened, with time. Yes, so it's something that uh, The same discovered. way Twitter became a protest platform. Yep. They never knew Twitter they was going to become yes. a protest platform. Yep. All right. So these are things you learn with time. Yes. All right. I like this so much. Uh -huh. As we come to the end of this, maybe mm -hmm. you can share with them the, 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 the site, how they can get to type the mm -hmm. key in to find the site, mm -hmm. the social media handles as we wrap this up. Okay, uh, so um, Gashiri, Donyo Online, mm -hmm. to get to Donyo, it's donyo.co.ke, mm -hmm. uh, that's our site. Mm -hmm. uh, for our Twitter, is Donyo Online, mm -hmm. Instagram, Donyo uh, Online, mm -hmm. and Facebook, Donyo Online as well. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for sharing that. But our last question of the day. Mm -hmm. Do you have a get scared of feeling? Uh, so all the time that they, this could go anyway, mm -hmm. but it's something that I've already made peace with. Like uh, mm -hmm. I'm prepared to go it all, all uh, for mm -hmm. a long time mm -hmm. just to see what will happen. Because mm -hmm. it's something I've discovered that Yes, failure is always there actually because mm -hmm. it's uh, with entrepreneurship you're always taking risks. Mm -hmm. But you've actually you don't fail if you actually don't get to, if you don't do it. Mm -hmm. So I have to. So do you it. always have to do it. Yes, so uh -huh. that you know whether it's a f you failed or not. So but you never get scared of failing. It's something that you have sec you have accepted. That uh, is uh, at this point now I've accepted. Uh -huh. Yes, failure is a possibility. Uh -huh. Yes. But you still go in. Yeah. That is a spirit, my man. Thank you very much for coming through to I in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Jayquat alumnus. And uh, a question is coming from one of our viewers. My director tells me uh, the Jayquat uh, has, had, uh, has had a lot of incidences. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So many white collar criminals have come from Jayquat. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about this? Well, for the many white collar criminals, mm -hmm. So I'd say mostly this one is you. 
this is something that you'd likely find in a place where you have all these brilliant minds. Uh -huh. uh, uh, so first we yes. have to admit Jake what has brilliant minds. Yes. Before we can move on to Before white collar crime. On, man. Yes. Uh -huh. Before you can move on, uh -huh. we, you have to admit that Jake what produced all this kind of uh, uh, of these brilliant minds, uh -huh. and some of them might seek other avenues of making money. Mm -hmm. Other than you know, the right way, the, following or the, the right legal way, way. following the le the legal way. Yes. All right. Yes. So uh, I won't ask you what you blame for others uh, taking the uh, the illegal paths, mm -hmm. but uh, do you think unemployment is one of them? Yes, I think uh, unemployment is actually I'll, uh, peg it as the major factor. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also maybe there's a culture in Kenya where maybe even in the news mm -hmm. uh, you see people they are. Uh, people like uh they want uh quick uh, uh -huh. riches yes so and the people we look up to always have corruption cases yes so you see all this one is like a culture which is coming it's unfortunate uh -huh. but it's something that is likely maybe to infect even the young people all right yes. so it's a culture as much as there is desperation and employment it's also a culture. the culture is yes very important yes it's an underlying issue yes wow thank you very much man yeah. your Tech smart, your book smart, your socially smart as well. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Ga Gashi? Gashiri. 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 Yeah. That's how you pronounce it. Yes. The C. The yeah, C is it depends shape. on what part of Kenya you come from. It's <laughs> <pretty> Gashiri. <laughs> Mr. Gashiri, <laughs> CEO and founder or co founder of Ndonyo Online. Check it out online so you can get to know or you can get to set up a shop or a duka for yourself. This is our first interview of the day, our first segment of Entrepreneurship Tuesday on YN the Morning. Joy Muchachi is coming with another one. You never know where she's going to take it. Arts or tech. Uh, stay tuned so you can get to know. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's by Money with social media platform.